both the House and the Senate are back in session this week, and with two days remaining before the end of the fiscal year, the key question in both chambers is how to fund the government uh, after September 30th. So what we expect is that the Senate will take up a continuing resolution that will take them to December 11th, and once that is passed, the House will consider the measure. That's really the major piece of legislation on the floors of both chambers this week. As usual, we're following a number of hearings on both sides of the Capitol. On Tuesday, the House Financial Services Committee is going to hold a full committee hearing to receive the semi-annual report of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. And CFPB Director Richard Cordray uh, will testify at the hearing. This is the opportunity for committee members to ask the director questions about uh, pending rulemakings, other activities of, uh, of the CFPB. Um, there's always a number of really strong questions that are asked at this hearing, and um, it's, it's, uh, it's a really important part of uh, Congress's oversight of the Bureau. Also on Tuesday, the House Ways and Means Committee will hold a full committee markup to consider legislative proposals aimed at fulfilling their responsibility under the Congressional Budget Resolution. This is the first step for the committee in terms of uh, budget reconciliation. They've been directed to adjust uh, laws under their jurisdiction to bring about a certain amount of savings to the, uh, to the budget and to reduce the deficit over 10 years. So uh, we'll get a sense on Tuesday what those changes could be and uh, it'll be their first step through the process. On Wednesday, the House Ways and Means Committee will hold an oversight hearing on the Department of Labor's uh, proposal on the definition of fiduciary. This is something CUNA has been very actively involved in. We sent two comment letters to the department. Uh, we've essentially asked for this hearing uh, and for congressional consideration of this issue. Um, this is a, a crucial issue for credit unions because the change in definition could impact how credit union staff interact with members. Uh, it defines when financial advice has been given, and our concern is largely that it's overbroad. Um, so this hearing is going to be important to shine some light into what the Department of Labor is intending to do with this proposal, what stakeholder concerns there are. This has been something that has been subject to a lot of debate in Washington uh, over the summer. The Department of Labor held an open hearing for four consecutive days, hearing from stakeholders from a broad range of interest groups. Uh, so this is another opportunity to, to raise that issue, this time uh, before the House Ways and Means Committee. On Wednesday, the House Financial Services Committee is going to hold a full committee markup and consider a number of bills, including four bills that CUNA supports. The first bill is the Financial Product Safety Commission Act. This legislation would replace the CFPB director with a five-person commission. CUNA has supported this legislation since the CFPB was first proposed. We've always said that if there is going to be a CFPB, it ought to be a five-person commission. We think this will allow stakeholders to have greater input, make sure those voices are heard during the CFPB rulemaking process. So we're very grateful that this legislation is being considered by the committee. We are going to urge committee members to, to pass the bill. The second bill is the Risk-Based Capital Study Act. This legislation has been introduced by Representative Stephen Fincher from Tennessee, Denny Hack from Washington, and Bill Posey from Florida. And what this bill would do is it would direct NCUA to halt implementation of the risk-based capital proposal until they have done an additional study on the proposal. We have a number of concerns still with the risk-based capital proposal coming out of NCUA. It's very close to being finalized and at this time we think it's, it's good to put a pause on it, let's take a look at it, and make sure that if NCUA proceeds with this rulemaking, it doesn't have an adverse impact on credit unions. So we're grateful for Representatives Fincher, Heck, and Posey for having introduced the bill. We asked the committee to mark the bill up, and we're grateful that it's going to be uh, under consideration on Wednesday. The third bill is the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau's Inspector General Act. 
And what this legislation does is it would install an inspector general at the CFPB that is appoint nominated by the president and confirmed by the Senate. The importance of that process is that it enhances the independence of the inspector general. And it's consistent with the way that inspectors general are appointed at other federal financial institution regulatory bodies. Last but not least, the committee will consider the Retail Investor Protection Act. And what this legislation does, it would put a stop to the Department of Labor's proposal on uh, the definition of fiduciary. So the Ways and Means Committee's holding a hearing on the proposal. The Financial Services Committee is, is trying to, to put a stop to it. Uh, we're strongly supportive of this legislation. Uh, it's been introduced by Representative Ann Wagner from Missouri, and uh, we're very appreciative of the committee uh, considering this bill, and uh, we'll work with them to, to get it through the House.